Hey everybody, welcome to Buratech. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about the Unreal Engine's free products of the month. All right, welcome back. Before we start this video, I want to make sure that you like and subscribe. The more likes and subscribers we get, the more content we can make. All right, so if you don't already know, the Unreal Engine puts out free content every month, and this content is absolutely amazing. Now, this month they're actually giving away a lot more than usual, and here are all the free items here. Now, of course, you have to go sign in and quote unquote buy them. The only difference is that the price is free. So you get to keep these forever, which is, I think, really awesome. Uh, and even if you're not using something uh, or any of these assets today, you might not use them tomorrow. So log in, go buy some stuff for free, of course. And uh, I'm just going to go over each and every one to see what they are. Okay, so the first thing first is we have this nice bunker here. And if you're looking to make some kind of science fiction um, or just simply a, a, a bunker, this is necessarily not necessarily science fiction just some kind of bunker here um, you're you're more than welcome to to do this here now one of the things I really like about all these free engines uh, and these free uh, these free assets is that like if you if you need something just even for a cutscene or a flashback you can use these for that and you can even use just the regular items here you don't have to build it yourself but if you're looking into becoming uh, good at level design I highly recommend downloading these trying it out for an hour and there you go so this one actually has is pretty good kind of like a world war ii bunker or a military bunker today the next one here is you got these warp effects and they look pretty nice different colors you can see and you know if you're making something that you know goes into hyperspace or something like that these are a very good um uh, a very good effect for that so you're more than welcome to use that right next up is we got the pro icon pack and this one's really awesome so the Pro Icon Pack gives you a bunch of icons, and you can see that there uh, it's not just necessarily some images here. Uh, there is a bunch of layers that are customizable, which, as you can see, is really awesome. Believe it or not, when you make a game for console, this part, like adding in tutorials or all these different buttons, it's actually it's actually pretty it's a huge pain to to get these images so uh this is really good and you can customize it to your game if you want if you want them flat if you want them glossy or in a, a hexagon or something you're more than welcome to do that here there's all these different items here it's really awesome and it, again it's not just uh it's not just images here there is an actual uh there's actual things that you can do uh and uh and blueprints in it as well I think it's really awesome here, and you can take a look at some of the features here. I think they're all really, really good. They're all—they're also really big, which you wouldn't think is a big problem, uh, pun intended. Uh, but it actually—it actually is. Um, it, you'd, you'd be surprised on how much um, on how much of a problem uh, it can be. Uh, so let's take a look here, um, and yeah, I, that's a very good one as well. Let's take a look at the next one here. Now this one's really awesome. Now this one is a template, and there is a lot of really cool items here. It's a space shooter template, uh, and you know it's kind of it kind of reminds me of of Star Fox. Um, and if you want, you can take a look at some of the screenshots here. It, it has quite a bit of functionality in it. And if you're looking to make some kind of space game, even if you're, let's say, an artist, for example, let's say you're an artist, you want to add in your own art, these templates are really, really good for that. Um, so if you do like Blender um, or through, uh, Maya or whatever, you can go ahead and download these and just sub out your art within it. And that way you can use a part of your portfolio. I think it's really awesome here, right? So as you can see, there's a ton of different items in here, uh, and if even if you want to take this and make your own game or your own shooter, I uh, I recommend that you know you at least try and play around with it, um, or you can use this as a template to start a new one from scratch. It's up to you. Let's take a look at the next one. Now this one's uh, really uh, really awesome. It gives you a bunch of customizable female mannequin characters. And if you look at this here, we'll just take a look at some of the images here. You can see that you know we have our base mannequin, uh, and you can add in your custom faces uh, with a whole uh, with a whole bunch of different uh, uh, ranges. So if you're making a multiplayer game, you know you can start off with these here. Um, and I think they're actually uh, it's quite awesome. These are great for uh for prototyping uh, at the very least right so uh you can see that you know if you want to prototype some games uh you know and then this is a good uh, good example of some female characters and you know if you even want to sub them out with um with your current mannequin model um i highly recommend doing that so uh it's a good practice to do you can see that it has a ton of different features here and uh 
again, it's free, so uh, I would download it here. You can take a look at some more of the details here, but basically, it's a bunch of, uh, of free mannequins um, for you. I think it's quite awesome, all right? So the next one here uh, is, is a VR one. So this one's uh, really cool for the arc viz. Uh, that's architectural visualization, of course. And you can see that basically uh, this is, I think this is used more for business purposes. Um, I know that a lot of realtors and because of the pandemic, uh, there's a lot of houses where they just have 3D models of the house or the condo and you can be all the way around the world and buy a condo. And I think that this is supposed to be for that. So you can walk around and then add in some VR touch options. Like, you know, maybe what, you, maybe you can make a, a program where you know you'd see what this would like would be like if the, the walls were different. So you can use some VR items here. So I highly recommend downloading it because it's free, of course. Uh, but I think this this one here is more outside of what, what more, most people think of of what uh, gamers would normally do. Um, but I think it's interesting nevertheless. If you are into game development, there's always other options outside of game development, like film is probably the best one. I know The Mandalorian uses the Unreal Engine. So you can use that, um, but there's also a ton of applications in VR going forward, and Unreal Engine, of course, is probably one of the best engines to do that. Next up here, we have the Star Sphere, and this one is really awesome. It's skyboxes for space environments, and if you don't already know, the space environments, uh, these skyboxes can be pretty difficult to get a hold of, at least good ones, and you can take a look at some of these uh, options here. Uh, it gives you a bunch of space environments, and it also gives you uh, a bunch of uh, a bunch of parameters that you can go and change, which is really good. Um, if you've ever been out in the complete dark to look up at the night, it's actually quite uh, mesmerizing, and it's always good to put that in the game here. And I think it's cool to give the planet Earth. Um, I think that's awesome. And then you have Mars, uh, etc. And um, and I think this is uh, is really really neat. All right, the next one up here is the uh, Horizon UI plugin. It, this is this is really awesome because it, it gives you uh, it gives you a plugin that gives you extra functionality in your your heads up display, which I think is really cool. So you can see that there is you can add emojis and then you can use animated um, you can use animated sprites, which is neat. So this is you know if you're making uh, let's say an RPG, that's probably uh, probably pretty good. Um, so let's take another look here. Uh, so if you look at this, uh, you can also add in all these other fonts here. Now you can you can normally do this, but um, uh, you can also take a look at uh, some of the other font sizes and weights as well. And you can also just basically customize your heads up display as much as you can. And it's pretty awesome. Adding in sprites to this is really neat as well. Okay, so I would recommend downloading this. And then the last one here is we have uh, touch components. And this one, again, is for uh, for mobile devices. Making mobile, dev like a shooter in a mobile setting is actually way more complicated than uh, you probably think it is. And as a result, um, what I what I recommend is uh, if you download this, it will give you a bunch, uh, well, it'll, it'll make the process much easier. So if you are making a shooter, unless you're, uh, unless your actual target is mobile devices, I wouldn't actually make a game for mobile devices. I would just make it for PC, upload it to Steam or whatever. That's what I would do, but a lot of people really want to put it on mobile. And as you can see, there's a bunch of different options like pinch, swipe, swipe component, tab component, and joystick component. And believe it or not, if you were to program this joystick component from scratch, it's actually a lot harder than you would expect it to be. Um, it, it, it can be quite a bit, quite a bit more difficult than you would expect it to be. So, um, uh, so I, which I have done, by the way, I have programmed it from scratch. There's a lot of math involved, right? So there we go. This concludes uh, the September uh, free, uh, uh, the September free products that Unreal Engine is getting. Now there's some cool ones here. I think my personal favorite of this whole one is the star sphere. That's my personal favorite. Uh, it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be yours. Let me know what your favorite one is in the comments down below. Please leave a comment because it helps us out. As of this recording of this video, this channel is not monetized. We need a few more subscribers and we're there. And it would really help us out if you helped us just share this video, especially if you shared this video on Reddit. It does help us out when you share these videos all around the internet. Uh, so thank you so much, uh, and of course, like and subscribe as well. And if you really like this channel, we sell our digital products down below. And th th we don't do Patreon, instead we just sell our digital products. The more money we get from the products that you buy below, the more content we can make. 
Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in another